Hello. Um, I decided to record a video today just to kind of talk to you um, about a conversation that I had with one of my good friends now. Her name is uh, Vanessa. She is she's 24 years old. Hope she doesn't mind me using her name in this video. I just actually wanted to come and talk to you um, about loving yourself. Uh, this move, Cameron. I'm not gonna go into a whole, you know. I know everything, but I can speak from experience that you have to start with loving yourself because if you don't love yourself, I mean, as cliche as it sounds, if you don't love yourself, nobody will. And I definitely have struggled with loving myself with not feeling like I'm pretty enough or not feeling like I'm skinny enough. And just, you know, at 28 years old, I still have those struggles and it's okay. And the thing is, is you have to really realize that you only get one life and you're not going to wake up and be somebody else. So you might as well take what you have and make the best of it. You know, you have something special about you, no matter what anybody thinks, you know, fuck what everybody else is talking about. You are you. You say you have a really cute shape or you have pretty hair or not even physical attributes. Say you're a good speaker. Um, you have an amazing singing talent or you have um, a talent in, you know, playing an instrument or, you know, there are certain things about every single individual that makes you special and you have to really take that time out to see that about yourself and know that you're special because I definitely remember going through early high school when I was maybe 14, 15, even 16 years old and really struggling with my face breaking out and that's when I was kind of going through that awkward chubby phase and it just was it was a bad deal <laughs> you know I had just moved here from St. Louis and moving to Kansas City and coming here and going to a brand new school okay it was definitely a culture shock and I didn't have any friends and I see now that I didn't have any friends because I chose not to, to make any friends. I chose that I was going to make myself unhappy. As stupid as that sounds, that's what I did looking back now. That's what I did. And it's, it really, it sucks because I wasted almost three, four years of being unhappy. When looking back, I have made some of the closest friends that I have, you know, now, even as an adult. I made those friends in high school and those years could have been so much better for me if I just would have opened up my eyes and really allowed myself to be happy. So basically what I'm coming to you today um, to say is I'm not going to get all deep into it like I said it's just you really have to love yourself and you really have to see what is special about you regardless of what anybody thinks because again you only get one life. You don't get to hit the replay button. You don't get to edit. You don't get to you know fast forward or you know anything like that so mommy, you really need to appreciate I want you. what mommy, god gave you mommy can i do it for you i really thought about the conversation that i had with um vanessa and she, <laughs> she told me that for a long time that a doggy. it's crazy how similar our stories yeah. or our background was that she didn't feel like she was pretty she didn't feel like she was good enough she didn't feel like she had anything special about her and believe me she's a beautiful beautiful girl and she's just now starting to get to the point where she's comfortable with herself and I'm really in the short time that I've known her that makes me so happy to see that you know and you know she credits some of that to me and I you know that's a blessing to be a blessing to somebody so I'm really glad that I could you know if, if, if I had any part in that and really helping her to see her inner beauty um, because I'm growing I'm still working you know I deal with daily struggles you know with not feeling pretty with not feeling you know like I've accomplished enough at 28 years old this is not necessarily where I thought that my life was going to be at 28 or what I thought adulthood would be like but you have to wake up every day and make the choice that 
you're going to be happy because you are the only one that has control over that. And the only way that I can really stress that is, is your life is what you make it. Bad things are going to happen. You know, right now I have a, my father is sick in the hospital. Well, he's not in the hospital anymore, but my father is sick Mommy. with stage four cancer. I just lost my grandmother and just seeing my mother have to struggle and take care of everybody, it really, really breaks my heart. It, it makes me sad, but I can take that situation and mope and, you know, woe is me, or I can take that and really use this opportunity to spend time with my family and, you know, know that no matter what, what happens that I've made an effort to get close and really appreciate the life that I do have and the time that I do have with loved ones. Um, kind of veering off the subject of, you know, self-love, but you also have to show others that you love them and to have others, you know, know that you appreciate them in your life. And I have a lot of good people in my life and I don't appreciate that all the time and I feel bad for that because I don't know where I would be without some of those people point blank you know so you really have to do that you really have to take time and appreciate the life that you have and appreciate the loved ones that you have and the friends that you have and really see your inner beauty and it's gonna take some time you know but you have to wake up every day in the mirror and look at yourself and say I'm worth it I'm special I'm me because you don't get another life you're not gonna wake up and be somebody else you're gonna be you and you have to live with yourself for the rest of your life and that's even important in relationships a lot of people don't understand or don't grasp the concept of knowing that when you're with somebody, you can't depend on that other person to make you happy. You have to be happy, happy with yourself first. You have to love yourself first before you can be with anybody and be able to truly love that person. Because if you don't love yourself and you're depending on someone else for your happiness, that's, that's a bad situation. You know, so um, I just wanted to say that and... I have been really slacking on my makeup videos. I haven't been really feeling that great. My skin's breaking out, so didn't really feel like recording anything. Kind of been going through some stuff, but I just thought I'd talk to you guys and kind of give you a little bit of a, you know, insight, just in case there's anybody of my couple of followers that I have that are struggling with that. And just to know that you are special and you are important and you are beautiful. And, um, you know, you want to take that and you know really appreciate it so I will be back doing my makeup stuff soon enough and um, let me know either through Instagram my Instagram is uh, pretty pretty p-r-e-t-t-y b-r-t-t-y um, if you wanted to reach out to me and either leave comments or if you would like to see more videos like this or if you have things that you would like me to talk about in addition to me doing the makeup and or anything like that I think that's that'll be pretty fun so um, that was what I had to say today so I hope everybody's having a good week and hope we can continue to grow together because I know that I'm not there yet but I'm, I'm damn sure making Cameron. an effort to get Mommy. so Mommy! Hope everybody's having a good week. Mommy! Uh, yes, Cameron. And Super Cameron. And, and Super Cameron says hi. Talk to you guys later. And also, I wanted to throw in that I probably repeat myself a lot because I'm not that great of a speaker, but I try, so you should give me credit for that. And by the way, what do y'all think about my hair? I'm really big in the blue. I didn't get it to bleach like I wanted to, but I'm going to go back in and fix that. But I really like this color. I, I dig it on myself. So, just thought I'd throw that in there. I kind of like it. I like it a lot. So, that was it. That was it for that. Anything else important to say to that?